you got two or three main people, then we'll be straight. We know it's always going to be a good show just because the energy everybody's going to buy. So we can work this out. We're going to see, man. But I'm just, I'm trying to come out of this bitch 100,000 up. Right. Come out of this right. Rona. We, we trying to. I done ran up 100 through this quarantine. Man, feel me? That's literally a bar I just heard today. Mm. Let it speak to my heart then. From, from their lips to God's ears. I need that. I'm going to sing you the song. It's called Free Joe Exotic. Oh, <laughs> Oh, oh shit! What song is that? Oh yeah, it's the hardest song in America right now. <laughs> Whose song is it? What's the artist name? It's a nigga named F. You know all these niggas got uh Letters. syllables acronym. It's F B F G Pac Man or something. Oh, <laughs> but it's one of the he yeah. I got one get of these Brent. acronym niggas. I got to get Brent on that too. I'm gonna see if Brent can pull up on uh pull up on maybe Tuesday. Try to balance it out. Maybe I get them next week though, because I, I I know I got somebody else already on Tuesday, so I want to make sure I don't overbook it. I think like four people, four guests is, is like the perfect sweet spot because then you don't have too many people talking over each other. You get to five guests, six guests, and then it's just like, Zoom with the homies. Yeah, it's Zoom. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Four is the perfect number. Shit, Kanisha, what you sipping on? Listen, they he left with the baby, so I got a big ass thing of sangria, and I couldn't find no shot glasses, so I had to put my liquor in a baby bowl. Wait, that's like, oh, nigga, that's a kitty bowl. I am going to ask that again once Kev gets on here. We get the show rolling because that's the funniest. <laughs> Wait, what? I, ever. But her her cereal bowls are right there, so I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna just put the vodka in here. <laughs> and you gonna taint the baby cereal bowl with vodka? I know. <laughs> But I put up like stuff for baby stuff, so it's all up at the top. <laughs> I can't read. So you you obviously not breastfeeding anymore. No, I'm not. But I did. To hear, uh, to hear, have you seen this baby? This baby is like six years old. Damn near. <laughs> How old is the baby, Kanisha? Fifteen months. She's about to be six. <laughs> ah, now she good. She still. You could breastfeed up to what? Like seventeen. Oh, well, I, yeah, I planned on breastfeeding till I was like. She was at least five, but like I said, God played me. I got big titties and no milk, so. Hold on one second. Come on in. And I'm depressed about it, and I don't want to talk about it. Where's the milk? No, I'm joking. I'm yeah, sorry. It's gone. It is. So she made it a year, though, breastfeeding, so I'm fine with that. So the milk just dried up after a year? Well, I, never, I didn't even pump enough milk. Like eight. I, never, I never made enough milk for her. So she got my milk, and then I make her hemp milk from scratch. Yeah, oh, you, you did a little thing. cocktail. Yeah, so by that last year, <laughs> pump and dump queen. Who <laughs> has that? Pump and dump queen. Good, good. Breath, 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 breath. Never stop drinking. <laughs> you said breast milk and Huh? I'm never going to stop drinking. <laughs> hey, kids, you know what? I think I got some sangria downstairs, too. Listen. I like them that shit is mongria. I need sangria. Huh? Like your glasses? Thank you. And them baby hairs. Both of y'all got I baby hairs. That. That's what I really wanted you to see. Shut up. Man. Look, you around from the high see, school, nigga. I see you ladies. I see you ladies. Mine is postpartum hair loss. So I was like, well, I'm about to turn these <laughs> into baby hair then. Because I just start balding. If you can wow, because her, her hair was breaking? You just turned it into baby hair? Yes. I like how casual it, Teddy Ray is with this blunt. I like how I he casually rolls it. To here, just put a cigar. It's like, what is happening over there, Teddy? Huh? What's Where's happening over there? Why are you in the kitchen? I'm not. What's all that? Like it sounds like y'all just y'all doing a B and E. You decided to take this Zoom while y'all doing a break in the entry. <laughs> He got all of Tony stuff. Baker's uh, sounds like right now happening <laughs> in his background. All the pans yeah. and pots. What up, nah, Kev? Hey, Kev. Uh, the weed trays. Mm -hmm. The weed box. The ashtray. Right. So we were already rolling. We were already recording, but uh, I'm going I'm to run it back, Kanisha, and ask you what, you what you're drinking, and then you could just uh -huh. set it up like that. But just okay. give me a second. Let's just get it going real quick. Kev, yeah, what's going on, sir? What you chewing on, little hamster? <laughs> I'm eating nowhere. What's that? 
Look, coffee shop is open, man. Got me some uh, some watermelon, some coffee. You at the you at the office? Yeah, man. Farron oh had, damn. Farron had like four Zoom calls today, so after I finished filming Bad News, I just came up here to just knock this out. Bad News. It's is nice to have a quiet little space to work, bro. That's why I'm so excited about this move because I actually have an <laughs> office inside the house. When y'all moving again? Uh, the seventh. And I when just is your new, when is your new gerbil cage being delivered? Um, same day. I had everything set up so I can have a pinwheel there and I can, you know, just, just do it like that. If Kev can chew this whole show, then I'm a smoke. Kanisha, are you in a are you in a dojo or a geisha house? What? <laughs> it's my it's mommy's private box, and so you cannot come inside of mommy's private box. That's a massage <laughs> parlor. <laughs> <laughs> Kanisha over there giving out happy endings. <laughs> nah. Hey, I was looking Never for the again. Show you, Never again, Kanisha. <laughs> a happy ending made you sad. Listen. Ah! Hilarious. Listen. <laughs> Never again. It's over. Oh, kids are such a great idea in theory. Then they come and you be like, Wait a second. Really? Hold on. Kanisha, what are you drinking? Okay, listen, so I got my sangria and then I couldn't find no shot glasses for my vodka, so I gotta use a baby cereal bowl because we put the bar up for the baby stuff. And I was like, dang, I need a shot glass up. Uh, <laughs> bowls are right there. <laughs> you are drinking out of Tahir's water bowl. <laughs> Cause Tahir is Garfield, right? Is that what the joke was? Oh, no, he's a my... gerbil. He's a gerbil. Kev, look at this. He's a gerbil. I thought that was August. Wireless status box that helps you work uninterrupted and enter a deep focus at home. Hold on, what now? Ooh. What's this? Standard and digital. The digital. Box digital lets you create and display your own custom messages or images to say, leave me alone however you want. Busy box standard lets you slide in a choice of six messages. Oh, snap. I need that. Right? Is that off like an Instagram ad or something? Indiegogo. Oh, really? Yeah, but look. The digital one, you can draw from your phone. Wow. So they really turn the people's houses into studios. I'm about to ask my wife if I can have that for Christmas. First of all, I need one that says, leave mommy the bleep alone. Shit, and put that out on the door. Let me tell you something, bro, because... That'd be the hardest thing. Like, you, you get a good roll going, and you hear somebody yelling, you have to go stop rolling at your house, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's quarantine. Like, literally, Farron's going to be, um, her job told her she's working at home, working from home indefinitely until it's over. Not until, oh, yeah. like, they're not going back Bro, to work. Google just said it you ain't can no go home until July 2021. Bro. Yeah. So, I got a sister that worked for Boeing and one for Microsoft. They at home just collecting checks. Like, we, we at home. Bro, I ain't do no work when I was at Boeing. I can't imagine being able to work from home. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and grab two of them real quick. I'll send you the link, Kev. Send me yeah, the I'm, link, too. I'll send it yeah, to send you. send me I'll the link, too. too. I got to ask my wife if I can have it, but if she says yes, I'm going to get it. Shut up, Kevin. I, t Please, I gave you a phone number to call on Melissa because I know she's putting her hands on you. You think I'm joking? <laughs> Did she snatch your wig off, Kev? <laughs> <laughs> she said, stop! Enough is enough! <laughs> Listen, can you imagine Kev doing a video and do you see a hand just come and snatch? I said no videos today! <laughs> you thought? <laughs> looking at the camera, just bald as fuck. You thought? <laughs> hey, Kev not even gonna say nothing. He just gonna go like this. <laughs> he ain't gonna look at him. No, to call he's not gonna look. What you gonna see is this. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> you gonna hear, but you gonna production. still hear him. You gonna still hear him. I never get to do nothing with my friends. And then <laughs> you won't go hit me on camera. <laughs> you never gonna hit me, Jody. <laughs> now Kev up making tacos for the family. <laughs> <laughs> Vacuum in the floor, cleaning it. <laughs> Can I get my wig back if I make the soap? <laughs> <laughs> she took the wig like a video game. She got it. I can't get it. She 
she said, I can't get it back to, to the end of the semester. <laughs> Hilarious. She, she locked it up in her desk. <laughs> bro, let me tell you where we're at in technology in the world, bro. So I have, I have Kendall go back and do all the descriptions, add all the names and zoom in with the homies, right? So she goes back and does I thought you were talking about the book. No, nah, no, nah, I have a kid. So like you talk to Kendall like do. Siri. Like I have Kindles. <laughs> take my notes down and uh, go get my dry cleaning. So um she finished, I guess, right after I finished doing bad news. She sent me a cash app request for the amount of money for it. I was just like, this is what Oh, you were raising a, a CEO. I like it. <laughs> Ever since we got out of this bank account, she's been requesting money like that. She'll never talk to us. She always sent like an invoice. I'm like. You're 14 and being disrespectful as hell. I don't appreciate it. Everything is an invoice. Every time yeah, everything is an invoice. My kids do is the, uh, you know when you get the family requests for the app and stuff? Mm -hmm. That's the only text message I get from them. Isaiah requests this. Josiah requests, requests That's that. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. The only invoice I had was an inside voice in the house. Or I was getting my ass beat. <laughs> it was not, no invoices. This is crazy. I'm not looking forward to it. I barely I see this girl right now. on the weekend. She don't come out of her room at all. Like unless I order pizza or something, she'll come out, grab her box of pizza, and go back in the room and close yeah, it. That sounds like my. Case. I'm gonna be honest with you. What is? What are they and doing? I don't mind. Here? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I don't mind. I, 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 don't, don't. I don't really mind. I don't really mind. Go on about your business. It's cool because I'm watching the movie. I don't want you to come in midway. Ask me what's going on. What happened? Who is that? No, nah, here's your pizza. Listen, room, here at this age, your kid is just like a roommate that don't have no money, but they don't really do nothing. So you be like, nah, he don't do nothing, but he cool though. He quiet. No, <laughs> man, my friend. Let me tell you something. This is this is how I knew she's getting older. Like I used to wake her up and I'd be like, yo, go walk the dog, right? And so now lately I've been waking her up. Sometimes she gets on and on. I won't, I won't, I'm completely destroy her, but sometimes she gets up on and on. Most times I have to wake her up. I wake up, she go to the bathroom for an hour. She spent an hour shitting out the gate. That's just out the gate, right? Oh. Then she go back in her room and sit down on the bed. I'm like, oh, did you walk your dog? This literally happened Friday. Did you walk your dog? She was like, nah. I was like, well, I woke you up to walk your dog. Why you ain't walking? She was like, I don't even know. <laughs> she sounded like she was smoking a Newport. Right? I know. <laughs> right? <laughs> I don't even know. I'm like, because and at this age, she, one, she's taller than me. She's 14, so I can't whoop her. <laughs> I don't want to toss the room because we're about to move. That's just gonna make more work for me. So I'm just I'm I'm literally <laughs> helpless. To I'm here, so you can still throw shit at her. Yeah. <laughs> TV remotes. I was phones. just so frustrated in that move my moment. I was like, I don't even know what to do or what to say. So I just I just walked away. Hey, got up, walked change the hey, change boom. the Wi-Fi password. That's what you do. Boom. Change that damn password. Now, let me tell you what this little helpful did, bruh. This little girl, I right, so she keeps changing my icon on Netflix when you log in, right? She keeps changing right. the picture. Every time I change it back, she changes. I change it back and I change hers, right? This little helper went in the settings and changed the, uh, she changed the language and then she added a code, <laughs> an account you code can't even get to it. my, I couldn't even access Netflix all weekend long. Because what I'm a threaten with, change the back or I'm going to punch you. She know I ain't going to punch you. So it's like I had to just wait till her mama got back and be like, you need to talk to this little girl before I, before I do something to her. Wait, so you didn't even go in there and address it? I did address it. She wouldn't change it back. She's a bully. Oh <laughs> She's taller than me. She puts stuff on the top she shelf. Is is here. Her. It's noticeable. It's not like they neck and neck. She is Bro. visibly I taller. I remember when she was so tiny, though, so I haven't seen her in years. She <laughs> has a She's shadow. super thin, too, Kanisha. So it's really obvious. And she got long hair. It is like, bruh. To hear she me got like, a long reach, too. She got a long reach. We were playing one time, and she hit me from across the room. I was like, I'm going to put my gun on this little help. <laughs> Larry. I'm gonna have to put my gun on because she don't know how to respect boundaries. All right, man. Well, I, listen, I think this is a good place for us to start. We're gonna go ahead and kick it off right now. <laughs> with this with first this topic. <laughs> with this first topic right after this. Yo, what up? It's your boy Tahir Moore, and I'm here to talk to the fellas. Well, not just to the fellas, but this 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 is really gonna, this is gonna connect with you guys. Listen, it's time to put down the X 
body spray and the polo blue. No disrespect, but it is, it's time to upgrade, man. We can't keep progressing with technology and everything else and not ad adapt it to the way that we shop for our cologne. Listen, guys, if you're still going to the mall and that's the only place you're shopping for your cologne, you're outdated, okay? It's time you stepped into the future and embrace Hawthorne. Why? Why, to here? Why should I check out Hawthorne? I'm going to tell you why, okay? Because I was skeptical. Here's this company that says that they have a new way of buying cologne. How do you know what I like? I will tell you how they knew what I like. I took a two-minute survey, okay? In this survey, they asked me what I like to do, where I go out, where I hang out. When I hang out, what do I do there? Am I the life of the party? Of course I am. Uh, what do I drink? Whiskey? Neat? They take all of that information, all of that information from that two-minute survey, and they, they come up with a scent that is just for me. Not just one, but two. You get a work... And a play scent. Come on. What? Two? Yes, two. Okay, because you should smell different in different environments. That's perfectly understandable. And if you don't understand it, I'm going to hip you to some more game. Listen, ladies remember scent. You understand me, fellas? They remember if you smell fantastic, but they also remember if you stink. Okay? So you won't always be remembered for smelling fantastic and Hawthorne will help you do that. Not only do they have colognes, but they have body washes, they have lotions, they have shampoos, conditions, they even have candles. Anything that you're looking for, you can get it at Hawthorne. And ladies, you don't have to be in, in the dark on this. You want to support your man, you can get him the gift card, you can get him the credit so he can he can still take the survey and then you just buy, him, buy it for him as a gift. You guys can be a part of this. Listen, if you want to take advantage, you want to jump on this new train of, of, of fragrance shopping, you, it's, it's still room. There's still time. And not only that, I'm going to hook you up. That's right. Your boy is going to look out for you. House 10% off your first purchase sound. Okay? Does it sound good? It's better than nothing because you won't get nothing without it. Take advantage of this right now. If you go to Hawthorne.co, use our promo code SQUAD. That's S-Q-U-A-D-D. -D, you're going to get 10% off your first order. That's right. You're welcome. You don't even have to thank me. I got you. I look out for my listeners. Y'all know how I do. Again, that's Hawthorne. H-A-W-T-H-O-R-N-E dot Co, not com, dot co, C O, and use the promo code SQUAD, S Q U A D D. You're going to get 10% off your first purchase, and that is on your boy. You're welcome. Fellas, <laughs> you know how to thank me. Just shoot me $1,000 on my, my cash app. That's it. You know what? Don't even worry about it. Just go out there and smell fantastic. You're welcome. First topic of the day What's worse, moving in with your parents versus moving in with an ex? Um, I'm going to go moving in with an ex. Ooh. Ooh. That's, worse. That's worse? I think moving in with an ex is worse because it depends on why y'all broke up. They might still want sex. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, don't want, I don't want my ex to be bringing no new bitches in the house. But I I still want, if I can't smash, then who, I can't bring friends. You better do that shit in the parking lot. <laughs> This is my house. But you came to stay with me. And you brought kids. You and my about it. This, this you right now. This you bringing your kids to my place, and I can't smash nobody new, and you ain't gonna smash? Oh, somebody finna get it. No, I'm good. Did you go to her house? With my mama. She old anyway. <laughs> <laughs> do what I want Damn, to do I'm going to be smashing at her house, okay? I'm Bro, gonna... I have not lived with my parents since I was 19. I am Ooh. 37. I Same. can't imagine someone, like, telling me what to do. Like, if they be like, all right, now, 10 o'clock. Be like, <laughs> hilarious. Nobody told me that in so, I have forgotten what it feels like. Yeah. Let me For... tell you something. I, come I, on, I, you know Melissa be telling you to come to bed. Karen. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Bring your you. ass to bed, nigga, so we can watch Greenleaf. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Greenleaf. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Green. Yeah. She, don't even, she don't even say a word to him. She just look at him like. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> 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 <That's> Sleepy. <laughs> Yo, low key though, when you've been married as long as I am. There's a big we tired energy. Like yeah. you don't really have to say it. Like I'm going to bed. This is what this is what happened. We be downstairs watching TV, right? She'd be like, all right, I'm going to bed. I'd be like, all right. She get up and walk around. She'd be like, I, Oh, you gonna stay down here? Like, I just I wanna watch the TV my own stuff. <laughs> <laughs> we just talked about this because it's like 
You know, I want, I'm watching an action movie. You know action movie volume goes up and down, up and down all the time. As soon as they start shooting, ra, 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 ba, ba. Now, if I watch this upstairs while you're trying to go to sleep, as soon as this, this fight scene happens and it yeah. goes up 36 decibels, you're going to look at me like I'm crazy. And you know what it is. This is what they do. They turn over, fighting scene starts. <laughs> like you just went with the remote and said, man, fuck this. So you don't see me trying to go to sleep. You don't see me, you don't care about my sleep at all. Okay, okay, all right. Now it's like, but I can't stay downstairs and watch it either? I hate it here, bro. I hate I'm it. I'm in my office to here. I got a TV, I got a couch. I be in here watching the office and she be like, you just finna be in here? He missed you. Hey. Where you what? This How do you miss? I'm I'm literally eight feet away from you. I <laughs> sleep next to you every night. We've and been together for 17 years. What do you miss? <laughs> what do you miss? Your, body your presence, your, your, no, you I don't know. Nothing. Well, you know what? You know what? Absence makes the heart grow fonder. So when you see me, bitch, you're going to love me. Let me have my peace. See, yeah, I'm not there yet. Yeah. I'm three years in, so I be in the living room kicking and be like, I, that's the only time I get to myself. Like, oh, you want to go to sleep with the baby? You can put her to sleep. And I'd be three in the morning. Tired, in the living room. Oh, my <laughs> God, not, I can't do it. I said, Kanisha be building that little room in the living room. Like, girl, it don't even cover <laughs> both sides of the walls. You just stay on that side. <laughs> <laughs> <She's a baby laughs> <laughs> you can't see it, but it's just cute. Yeah, the baby knocked the... Ted, the baby knocked the thing down like Snoop and, and Baby Boy. Don't nobody care about the fort, little nickel. Yeah. <laughs> you, got a, you got a fort, Kanisha. <laughs> right. This is, look, Kev, it's a sheet over the top of it. You can't see it, but it's a sheet. <laughs> yeah, Tia, gotta, I know you're being funny, but I have a bunch of different colors for it. For my I thought moves, it was dildos. I, I, I was about to say, what the fuck are you doing in there? <laughs> it's my favorite <laughs> so I can decorate it so I can feel more special. <laughs> oh, that's hard. <laughs> oh, Teddy, I was on the same page. I'm like, oh, she really is. That's, that's her so special place. More. That's her special room. It is. Oh. I can't stay yeah, with my do you mom have because... slaves? Where you keep getting these cookies from, nigga? <laughs> My um, I got a whole spread over here, Teddy. My mom's this at thing that age. got slaves on us. My mom's at that age where she just walks around however she want to walk around. And the first time I was at my mom's house and she had one of her titties thrown over her shoulder, I was like, I can't come back here. <laughs> wow, I can't come back. Whole titty just on her shoulder, just like that, and she walking around like it ain't no problem, like this normal. <laughs> That's not normal behavior, Emma Jean. That's not normal. I'm crisscrossing my titties. <laughs> that's that age. She I'm on the plane. <laughs> Ted, she on the plane with the titties over her shoulder like that's a <laughs> deck Like the neck pillow, like, yeah. I've seen Kadisha do it in the back of the there. comedy store one time. You say what? <laughs> I've seen Kadisha do that move in the back of the comedy store, use her titties as a neck pillow. I was like, I'm gonna start doing that, but I don't have <laughs> that much titty. You know, I got titty, but not. That you know, you ain't yeah. got the length, Ted. You got the fullness. You ain't got the length. Okay, stop looking at my bust, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> this nigga Kev over here, Mr. Teddy Man. I got an A cup, Teddy. I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'm review back. Nah, bastard. bro. You got plastic surgery. You, you about a B now. <laughs> <sighs> Teddy said he was starting the OnlyFans and had his shirt off on the ground. <laughs> Hey, I started it, bro. That shit bomb. His auntie oh, you like, really oh, did it? Yeah, I had like two aunties subscribe. I was like, I'm over this. <laughs> they sent me some change. Like, I felt like they did it like them old people at church. Like, just a little something. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, candy. I thought I was going to pop. Candy. <laughs> no. Oh. Send me your address. I got a package for you. Open it to strawberry candy. Strawberry candy. <laughs> Going going back to oh, the topic. Stuck on this, Teddy. I can't <laughs> pay no bills with candy. And why why was their candy always a little bit wet already? Like why? Because that bottle of perfume burst in the bottom of her purse. Yeah. It was yeah. In, it was in their titty. That's why it was underneath. Right? Uh, <laughs> Martins don't never let you know what candy. happened to their candy. Mm -mm. You think somebody got a lot of stuff in their bra when they got to adjust it to get you something out. They got <laughs> That's me. <laughs> yeah, you 
know how many baby toys I can put up in this thing. You want the purple one or the red one? Well, give me a second. Let me just look for it. I know I got a five dollar bill in here somewhere. <laughs> I found a twenty. That's how you know. Them the titties <laughs> that you don't want to see. Them the titties you don't want to see because you know without that bra, them titties would be having a temper tantrum underneath that shirt. <laughs> They be falling all out like kids in the cereal aisle. Just, you know. A temper tantrum? <laughs> you ain't doing nothing but doing this. She just walking back and forth, just humming. Them titties just. <laughs> that's I like flat. them titties, though. Them titties that's disobedient and don't pay attention. <laughs> be sliding all over the place. Oh. Sit down. No, it is Christ the mother of titties, and I wish I would have known. They when you breastfeed, it my shit have flat. And I used to have plump. I got two socks in here. I used to have plump boobs. Now they're flat. They're like, <laughs> I'm like, yo, oh, what yo, they baby, were, baby, they baby all the milk out. I didn't know. I'm like, I'm back in deep. I got my no, she got two I'm socks in here. Deep. Like y'all used to. My boobs are long now. I was in the mirror crying. Like yo, what? Happen? What? Put them on TV. Listen, all you got to listen. Teddy on the screen. He turned into booth. (laughs) (laughs) The Teddy's on lock. I'll give you a thousand bucks. Kanisha, all you got to do is just pinch him up a little bit, put a clothes pin on the side. Them things will be right back. Uh, Oh, no, I already did it. It's a clip in the back holding the bra. I got the the method is down. Trust me. I'm not going to hit the streets back and don't even have none of my attributes. Mm. I already. Got extra stretch marks in the stomach. I got to do something to distract. So I seen this on Bravo too. They got titty tape. Can this like a little piece of duct tape? That titty tape don't work. That don't work. It yeah. don't. No, not for titty. When well, you got to work for Kev, but it them for work. white titties. Yeah, them for white titties. I, I saw, I saw, I saw some lesbians using the titty tape, and they was using the titty tape, and then that's how they were walking around without without shirts on. They just had to take the titties tape down. Oh yeah, no. That's a shirt technically. I mean, two top. Two top. Two top. Back to this question, though. The question at hand, moving in with your parents versus moving in with an ex. I feel like I feel like the guys that were put in that situation, the guys that had somebody come stay with them, they may be a little more respectful. But if you fell on hard times, you had to move in with your ex and as a guy, I feel like the ex would be extremely petty, especially if y'all ended bad. She ain't gonna let you be on the street because you know you got a newborn, so she gonna let you stay there, but she gonna have niggas all through there every night. You ain't gonna be able to sleep easy. I, I can tell you that much. Hilarious. She just yeah. gonna get beat up. She gonna get that thing beat up all night. To hear, it's not even that. We gonna be playing every single song to remind you you ain't shit. I promise you. And we just gonna be in the mirror just Singing in the bathroom. My mm-hmm. dude made me mad this morning, and I'm in the bathroom singing. I should have cheated. Like, <laughs> wow. <laughs> and this is the type of person that'll make a and phone you, call and you for know? herself. She ain't going to ain't nobody in the house. Going. Oh, the nigga, what you, what you cooking? Oh, I just made me a little ham, little eggs, little bacon. <laughs> Did you make something for me? What was that Friday, the movie Friday, when the mom yeah. made her some pork chops? And he was like, hook it up. <laughs> he, got, he was about, it's nothing funnier than a man think he about to eat and Takara you got that all spot because you know I be cooking I'm writing a cookbook right now right. I tell you my favorite thing to do is to just make me and the baby something to eat like all the food <laughs> Listen, but you don't That's understand the level, the, level to, the level of petty Takara is and the fact that she's from New York Takara will let the nigga move in but then be having company over and leave the door open while the company's there yeah. <laughs> yeah. Put your on, brother. <laughs> Get your feet rubbed and be like, you know, my ex never rubbed my feet. Talking <laughs> about- <laughs> I ain't never wow. done this before. <laughs> That's a different level of panic. I wouldn't do that. I just, I wouldn't let my ex move in at all. Unless we were on the good No, one of the things about being Unless married- we fucking. Oh my God. I didn't even hear that part. I'm sorry, Takara. I didn't say that. I, I, oh, didn't, I, didn't, I said that. Oh, okay. I just I, I went in my ex. This is a real story. After my best friend was 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 killed, he, and he lived here. I moved in with him after that, and we never had sex. It was a it was a cool, nice environment. So I mean, I've actually had the good side of it, which is better than moving with my mom. Because if y'all think I'm crazy. White woman crazy is a whole nother. She's a full blown alcoholic. She, I like, I cannot live with her 
at all. Like she is a trip all the way around. So I'm just like, you got a white mom? What? I be forgetting you mixed. You so everybody black, you're white I'm such a revolutionary. That's why. <laughs> no, she, yeah, she's white people crazy is a different level of crazy, and I just can't tolerate it, especially in these times. You know, I call her to be cussing every now and then. I'd be like, yo, people ain't shit. And then I hang up the phone. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Y'all was wrong with America. I'm your mama. I said what I said. <laughs> I do. After, remember when uh, Jesse from Grey's Anatomy gave that speech on BET about black magic? I didn't talk to my mom two weeks. I was like, man. You know, I never thought about that. Like, you know, when you see like Rosewood or something like that, you'd be mad at white people. You see a movie like that, you got to go home to your mom. You just be like, you dirty motherfucker. <laughs> I'm the oldest kid. I was the first. <laughs> Listen, I'm the oldest kid. So I was the first to see Roots in the fifth grade. I had to come back and tell my brothers and sisters because I didn't know I was mixed to about that time. I just figured everybody had rainbow families. <laughs> Back home. Wow! Y'all, what family. I seen at school, we was crying and shit. What? Um, <laughs> oh. Kev, you were about to say something. You said the the the, the thing about me being married that long is what now? You don't have ex. Oh, I, all that like true ex stuff, like in music. Like I, I really couldn't connect with Bryson Tiller's music for that reason. I don't have no ex that I really. Cause you've been with Melissa since like the second grade, right? Yeah, they shared crayons. Yeah. Right. Like, that don't count, Kev. You don't have no past. In all serious, not my, my oldest son finna turn 14. Voice deeper That's than only, yours. Huh? Voice deeper than yours. I oh, voice deeper than mine. He you remember when you were 14, Ted and Tahir, you was making your voice sound deep at all times. You never were caught. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah, I would like some tater tots. <laughs> so he on that right now. At this time, my I, I, I don't have to sound deep all the time. But he four, he about to be 14. That's only two years from when I started dating Melissa. Mm. That's crazy. Yeah. So he might find his new boo in his forever life boo in two wife. years. I, I found my wife in 11th grade. That's crazy. Now, if she broke up with me now, I would be a shell of a man. I wouldn't. I could. I, I, I might just disintegrate. I would be like that girl who blew up the, the, the Jeep. <laughs> that would be me. I'd be blowing up her Jeep, his Jeep. i blow up my son's Jeep. The neighbor is related to the family. The neighbor knew. you going to blow up the neighbor's Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> blowing up Jeep. Be all singed. What happened, yo? You see the Chucky doll that was burnt? And she said, ain't nobody took that their little Jeep. I can cry. Ain't nobody touch that little car. The fact, that, ain't little car. The fact <laughs> that she for sure had a concussion and still had the wherewithal to, to collect the evidence really All is the same level of criminality. And she still got caught, but at least she went back for the evidence. First of all, she started she to an ear hole. She started crawling on both arms <laughs> and legs. You know her ears were ringing? That was the hurt hey. locker. She didn't the know funny, what was going on. The, funny the thing hurt locker? When it blew up, when it blew up, whoever was recording it got scared too. You ain't see them jump like, you know what? They couldn't okay, believe he did it. <laughs> they was all in the blinds. My that's <laughs> like, come on. You gotta stay focused on the action. I be getting mad at people recording fight videos. Y'all look through the viewfinder. Y'all don't be watching the fight. Oh, I need y'all to stay focused. You gotta live in the moment. It be like this. Oh. Listen. When when you when you are recording a fight, you're the cinematographer. You got the responsibility. You have to look at everything right here. You can't watch it. You watch it you after the fight. Watch it. Watch it no, after the No, because if I if I die, I can't. If something happened and some gunshots, I gotta watch the wherever I'm at. I can't. But, you, just, but that's what you, I'm saying. You still fight, leave, leave, leave nigga, right now. Ball. It's a violent situation. I gotta it's be it, on ten. It's a two. real life movie, Ted. You just look at it like a real life movie. No. Y'all do all that John Singleton shit, get the perfect <laughs> shot when niggas is fighting. I know what happened. You in the moment, but you got to be on lookout. Like, bam, bam. If you got to be on lookout, you shouldn't be recorded anyway. Right. I want to rewatch it later. Sometimes <laughs> it's hilarious. Hey. My homie socked the nigga out of his shoes one time. That was funny. I'm glad we got that on, on camera for life. 
<laughs> but it killed the art of storytelling. Like nobody, like now they can just show you the video. That's why we don't have no storytellers no more. It killed the art of storytelling because you just saying he, he got socked out of his shoes. I wish you would have said it elaborately. Like, listen, this is what happened first. <laughs> That's actually true. That's a good point. I never thought about it like that. Mm -hmm. Remember when people used to tell you stories? It used to be wild as hell. You just be. <gasps> Now they just pulled the phone And out. then the nigga pulled up. He was like, whoop, whoop, whoop. And then I hate people. I'm, I'm, L.A. people say whoop, whoop, whoop in a oh, lot man. of their stories. <laughs> and that'd be vital whoop, information. Whoop, whoop. Not enough story. Yeah, wrong. That's the dot, <laughs> dot, dot to everything. Everybody. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop wow. is supposed to be details that don't matter. They be putting in details that matter. <laughs> no, nah, whoop, like, whoop, whoop is felonies. They don't want to <laughs> shit on themselves. Right? <laughs> they be like, <laughs> and then whoop 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 so you know skip all that part where I had the gun on me let me fast forward <laughs> to this part where we had McDonald's I asked her was the baby's mine and she was like whoop 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 and then he'd be like nah nigga it's the baby yours like, <laughs> wow <laughs> crazy whoop 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 alright so where, where we land at it with what, what, what's worse I, I say staying at an ex house is worse <laughs> It gotta be, because I love my mama, but I yeah. I don't know. I got mixed feelings of, about whoever this person is that I'm staying with now. But I your might mom be in my you on hella errands, yo. Every time you get in the car, it's two hours of her shit. I cannot be running errands all day for my mama, so I can't do it. I don't want to be in the house. My mama not that senile oh, yet. Cool. Hold on, what you say to car? I don't want to be in the house with her anyway, so I'm cool with the errand run. <laughs> but my mom is real low key. She the type of person where she don't go in her living room for months. She just be in her bedroom, bedroom, bathroom, kitchen. She don't do nothing else. So I can live with my mom. Okay. If you touch it, you you clean it. If you use it, you fix it. Like that's all she gonna yell at. She don't really. <laughs> her whole thing is turning to the side. Uh, hey. <laughs> that's my mom. Don't you do? Uh, huh? What I say? I want some and make sure you clean out the pots. Leave my kitchen the way you left, the way you found it. That's my mother. As long as you leave it the way you found it, she don't care. She does not care. I could live with my mom. You imagine a grown woman telling you, I, I. Yeah. Oh my God. Hey, you ever hear your mama subconsciously in life? You about to do some yeah. shit and some fuckery. You be like, I, I, I. Don't go in that lady's house. <laughs> Don't get something more than just some coochie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Takara say you living with the ex would be worse for you? Yeah, that's worse for me. Teddy? Living with an ex. Okay. Because if she get piped down, I'm going to beat that nigga up. If I can't get no draws, I, it's like it's not a good situation, and I'm going to really – I think I'm a hustle harder. If it was like what situation I'm a hustle harder out of, it's probably gonna be my ex house, cause I'm gonna be in a rush. I'm gonna probably get comfortable in my mama house. She just got a jacuzzi. <laughs> <laughs> at least you know. At least you know. What uh? What about you? Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go and say my mom's house. I don't mind living with exes, and I'll be the ex to give some up. So that wouldn't even be a problem for me, cause it's, I like comfortability in front. Oh, you familiar? So I'm just going to give you some. So I'm gonna go mama house. Okay. All right, Kim. It's probably worse for me to live with the ex, cause I never really got that serious with them. So not really knowing them at all would be worse than staying at my parents' house. Okay, that's fair. And I think living with an ex would be worse too. So. Um, yeah, I think I think the the exes have it on that one. So, um, yeah, yeah, I, everybody can deal deal with their parents for the most part. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna jump right into this next topic right after this. Hey, what up? It's your boy to hear more, and I am here to tell you guys about one of our amazing sponsors, Raycon. Now, listen, we're all at home. Some of us have more people in the house than what we're used to. Uh, when you want to listen to your music, you want to listen to your music. You don't want to hear somebody in the other room, what they're watching on TV or what the other person in the other room is listening to or what they might be talking about on the phone. You don't want to, you don't want to hear all of that. You want to hear your music and you should be able to hear your music uninterrupted. And you definitely can hear your music 
uninterrupted by getting the new Raycon Everyday E25s. These bad boys right here are the latest model to drop and let me tell you about it. Now, first of all, everyone needs a great pair of wireless earbuds, but before you go dropping hundreds of dollars on them, check out these E25s. Why, why should we check it out to here? Well, I, I'm glad you asked, baby. Now listen, that newest model, the Everyday E25, is their best one to drop yet. Six hours of playtime. Six of them things, okay? More bass, uh, seamless Bluetooth pairing, and this new compact design is perfect. It is a perfect noise isolating fit. You can't get any better than this. Listen, these earbuds are comfortable. They're perfect for taking phone calls, taking conference calls, virtual calls, whatever you're doing at home. These are the ones that you need to be doing it with. You want to talk about a game changer? These bad boys start at about half the price of some of the other premium earbuds on the line. However, you get the same quality as some of the top brands that you know. Now, you've heard me talk about this a hundred times. You know the company was co-founded by Ray J. You know superstars like Brandy, J.R. Smith, uh, Snoop Dogg have endorsed it, and Cardi B, she loves it. But listen, it's nothing like trying it for yourself. So that's what I encourage you guys to do right now. You, yes, you, our listeners, you guys are going to get 15% off right now when you go to buyraycon.com slash squad. That's S-Q-U-A-D-D. Get your first pair, okay? Experience it for yourself. See what it's like. See what all the hype is about. And I promise you, you won't regret it. So again, get 15% off when you go to buyraycon.com slash squad. Do it today and tell them your boy sent ya. It's actually nowhere to say that, but you know, if you want to just send an email, it's like, yo, to here, kill this. <laughs> Won't be mad at you. Holla! Next topic we have Would you rather have your dream job with no pay or being rich at a job that you hate? Mm. I'm going to probably do dream job with no pay because we all started out as comedians yeah. and we love it. And we love it. Church. And we still doing it. So I'm going to start off with dream job with no pay. But you can't pay no bills with that. First of I'm, all, I can pay I'm, bills with these. So I'm, I have lived the whole time I've been here. Like, what the so I'm going to do the job because I'm cute and these are going to pay. <laughs> can we do both or we got to pick one? You got to pick one. I don't know. I'm still going to go dream job with no pay because you didn't specify how long no pay is for because I'm going to get paid. <laughs> Eventually. Yeah. We yeah. are. Right. Eventually, it was oh, dream, yeah. We all do a dream job, we all do it now. <sighs> if I really hate what the job, that? eventually I'm gonna end up like you know, not wanting the job. No, like it's just, I don't know. I'd rather do something I love forever, yeah, than be forced to do something I hate and then I'm gonna quit or worse than that, just start taking it out. Beat my kids more, doing all kinds of shit. I can't imagine none of y'all working like a, a like a corporate job. I was a teacher. I was a teacher. Hey, I taught third and fourth grade. Shit, during COVID, I've been teaching sign language online. I got a rack of students. <laughs> <laughs> you teach sign language? Come yes. On. I mean, could this? Yeah. She said, I got a rack of stuff. She just got her breasts in there. Yeah, you want to do this? <laughs> <laughs> we should be teaching white people how to throw gang signs. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> folks. Folks. <laughs> 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 the folks. Hilarious. Yeah, I taught preschool when I was in New York, and then when I moved here, uh, alongside to hearing some other comics, I started teaching with the sheriff's department inmates. All the comics was working down at the jail. I know. Yep. Listen, when comics find a job that's good for comics, they will get that job to everybody. Like, hey, no, nah, it's cool down here, bro. You can hey, get it's some good material up there at the jail. <laughs> <laughs> there was a there was a minute where the whole bunch of comics was working at the uh, the flyaway for a minute. I was I was seeing a whole bunch of people there. The jail for a minute. Uh, a lot of comics is unemployed. So if somebody one nigga become the plug. Hell, are we all the plug. That's what a community do. It's nepotism. Kevin, we got to win. Nah. Listen, I got no problem with nepotism. I, I can't wait to nepotize. Why do you been nepotism? Kanisha mom been nepotizing. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello? The only problem with nepotism is we don't have enough black people so that we can nepotize our people. 
Right. And then the ones we got don't want to nepotize. They don't want to see no Negroes. Right. I keep I got no problem with nepotism. I'm, I'm about to months. be. Like, hey, that's my son. Did he got it? What the <laughs> Like Did Diddy's son, I see Diddy. Diddy's son perform at a Beyonce concert. And I was like, must be nice to be Diddy's son, because you all up there, because you Diddy's son. That's literally, and you know, oh, he kind of looked like Diddy. The whole his set was like, man, that kid kind of looked like Diddy. Almost. Hilarious. That was 10 minutes of it, and he lasted the whole time. I was like, oh, cool. Yeah. Diddy's uh, son. He got enough songs to bomb right. my head to. <laughs> right. right. You start doing your daddy shit if you don't. <laughs> we won't know the <laughs> Taste that, taste that. <laughs> That's what's funny about that uh that beef when Suge Knight called out Diddy, Diddy really was all up in the videos. I know he was like, dang, I do be all he was he was there, he was in the front of the artist. It was Mace video, Diddy printed Mace out the way. You see him push Mace out the way and jump hey. several times. <laughs> you know there's a story. Kev, you know there's a story where them two niggas bumped into each other that night. Where? Suge and Diddy? Yeah, and Diddy, and Diddy asked him, like, well, hey, was you talking about me? And Suge, this is just, you know, rumor, rumor report type shit. But Suge yeah. said, no, nigga, I was talking about Jermaine Dupree. And kept walking. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, heard he, I heard he was talking about Jermaine Dupree. That, that is what I heard, too. I heard he was talking about Jermaine Dupree on that one. Really? Mm-hmm. Jermaine Dupri was in a lot of videos too, though. Right. But yeah. All in the but dancing. He, but, but Diddy was way more prevalent in the videos. Right. Diddy was. It was a combination. Don't lie. Diddy pushed Mace. He pushed <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Kim. He was pushing, especially when they had that 90s video with the wind and they all had an enable. Oh, and the shiny suit. Tell him who rocked. He pushed Mason, but Mace went up against the wall and spun a little bit. They ain't even edited. Oh, uh, yeah. Just like that. <laughs> he did push Mace. Spun a little bit. And, just, and then the dance. You know, he did the dance. Yeah. And this came from getting pushed all the time. Now we in the club doing this, though. No, he's trying to keep his balance. <laughs> Oh, 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 that was awesome. <laughs> oh, he made up a new dance. He literally was just trying not to fall on camera. Yeah. yeah. Man. I'm telling you. Yeah, we all in the club. <laughs> Kev, your laugh is hilarious. It's making me laugh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Ace was such a fun rapper, man. He just, he made fun music. He was always smiling and stuff. I was like, man, all right, Harlem World, man. I like Harlem. You know his name was Murder Mace. <laughs> yes. That was at the beginning, though. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Like, the same nigga that was Murder Mace, and <laughs> is that the same? <laughs> the same. Bro, he was Murder Mace. He was Mace the Smiler. Then he went to a pastor, back to Mace. Mace and Beth, and then back to pastor. You can't go pastor two times. That's the one choice. I bet you he still had that pistol on him at every phase. <laughs> <laughs> at every phase. Da, 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 da. Don't lie, my wife flew to Atlanta and May sat next to her and asked her to use her cell phone charger and she gave it to him. This was like last year, two years ago. Really? <laughs> she was like, Kev, I was, uh, I was in, in the seat next to May's, in the middle seat. He ain't had no charger. He said, could he use mine? And I, I let him use it. And I was like, <laughs> Y'all was in coach. <laughs> it be like that sometimes. Okay. Listen, I will fly coach. I won't. I won't. <laughs> Damn, Kev, you ain't got to say it so. Boozy, I, will. I will sometimes. There's no difference except for free drink. Subject drinking. myself. Drink you the <laughs> no, there's a difference, Kanisha. <laughs> there's a difference. The longer the flight is, the bigger the difference is. Right. From LA to, to Oakland, no big deal. LA to Dallas, LA to New York, very big deal. Oh, very big deal. Those very five big hours, deal. six hour flights, oh. That's, that, that's LA to Tokyo, the biggest deal. <laughs> Hilarious. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, listen, my kids are, they, oh, you think I'm bougie. Imagine having access to what I have at 11. They had the slippers on. They had the headphones. They had the eye covers. They was eating ice cream. It was the you could your bed your your seat was a whole bed. It, they, you couldn't talk to them. Oh, 
See, well, when, they, when we got off the plane, they were just floating off. They weren't even walking. They just floated off to the. <laughs> They had a good old time. Meanwhile, oh, I'm great. snoring on some lady's shoulder. Yeah. Oh my god. Probably gonna god. be my shoulder with your ass. Just <laughs> mouth open. You yeah. soft. So yeah, I'm gonna lean to, to your <laughs> side. I know I'm not gonna lean on, I'm not gonna start falling asleep on a bounty, you know. <laughs> yeah. I don't like when people fall asleep on me when I'm on a plane. That because I feel I'm I don't know whether Kara, you saw people tired. fall asleep on me all the time. This is our job in life. Shut up. Shut up. This is our job in life. I seen the guy look at my shoulder and look at my face. I'm like, you better not fall asleep on my goddamn shoulder, sir. He said, That's the move. <laughs> no, I'm always <laughs> neck killer blanket. I'm done. Ain't nobody never fell asleep on me. Never. Really? I had somebody fall asleep on my neck pillow on the other side. I had like some real big. <laughs> Nigga, that's a, that's a community neck pillow. That's a community. Hey. Let me just get a little piece. I don't need my the whole thing. My neck pillow on to here. He's like, as you know, I'm sleep. I'm like this sleep. I look over. This fucking man got his face on the side of my neck pillow. He just y'all borrowed it like an arm shit. Just sleep. I let him sleep too. He looked like he had a long day, and I just like both of ours. I just keep it on my neck. <laughs> <laughs> I will tell people in a minute. In a minute, if I'm in the middle, I'm like, "Hey, listen." Um, especially if they're on the window. Listen, I, I know nobody wants to sleep sit in this middle, but I'm gonna fall asleep, and if I'm not in the, the window, it's gonna be on you. So I'm just letting you know, and I snore. So do with that what you will, but I'm gonna let you know right out the gate. Do so, people be switching with you? Hey, no, nobody, nobody has ever cared. I fall straight asleep. <laughs> I fall straight asleep. Before they even make announcements, buckle your seat. I'm, I'm asleep. <laughs> I'm asleep. Snoring. You fall asleep yeah. for two minutes. I wake up when I'm, as soon as we get in the air, I'm like, oh, shit, we took off, huh? Yeah, I so am not fall asleep on a plane for nothing in the world. That's not true, Kevin. I have videos and pictures of you sleeping. <laughs> Here, that's, okay, I can fall asleep on a red eye. Or no, first thing that's in the on morning. the plane, Gav. That's on the plane. But what I'm saying is, man, everybody be quiet. Point <laughs> <laughs> across. I really did kill my whole little argument. <laughs> man, I can't fall no asleep plane. on a plane to save my life. Well, I could fall asleep on a red eye, but that's just. Or early, early in the morning, I fall asleep early in the morning too. On Tuesday, yeah. you know, Actually, in the afternoon, it hasn't been much of a problem. Me, you know what? I can fall asleep on the plane. If I had beef that day, my stomach is lax, so I can get <laughs> some sleep. If I, I ate beef that day, day. So you gotta sleep, like. If I ate beef that day, <laughs> that makes sense. That makes sense. All right, oh, so it heavy on my spirit. Coming, coming back around. Um, what what are y'all feeling like when it comes to this 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 whole scenario? What was the have, uh, the job with um with uh, that you love with no pay or the big bank accounts but you hate your job? Kev, this is Boeing for you. Boeing was literally the worst ever. It doesn't matter how much you get paid when you hate what you're doing. That you feel yeah. every minute, every second, every hour. You'd be, man, I'd be like, man, that had to be two hours. It'd be 13 minutes. I'd be like, oh, my God. <laughs> and I used to be at Boeing at my desk at 4.45, 5.15, two hours before anybody came. I could watch YouTube all day, and it still was hard to work that job. Yeah. Ain't enough YouTube in the, in the world when you want to be doing something else. Yeah, that's true. That is um, true. So I'd rather be forward. Doing, listen, I, we already lived this. Stand up didn't pay for a very long time. Very long time. And then when it did pay, it wasn't like, I remember when I got $30, and I was like, bro, this is great, bro. 30? <laughs> 40? Yeah, I remember my first 25. Oh. <laughs> I was I was walking around arrogant. Bro. Not hundred, not thousand, not twenty five dollars. Twenty five dollars. Yeah. Once I was up to forty, I got eighty. I was like, bro, don't at me. I bought some shoes <laughs> off of jokes. You said, don't at me. <laughs> don't at me, bro. <laughs> uh, so I, it's much worse to to work a dream job that I hate. Yeah. Okay. What about you, Ted? Um. 
Yeah, I would rather I would rather work a dream job with no money versus be unhappy mm-hmm. somewhere. That's why that's why I'm in the spot where you know we in right now. We cause we couldn't do it. I ain't no other job work but comedy. Yeah. I dig I it. ain't never made no money than the money that I done made in comedy. Nowhere <laughs> else. Nowhere else. You never had no job to I didn't make no kind. I didn't make this kind of money, nigga. I was a crossing guard. <laughs> I had two shifts. I worked three hours in the morning, three hours in the afternoon, and Who I got fired for playing <laughs> Temple Run. You got fired for playing Temple <laughs> Run. <laughs> That's such a specific reason to get fired. <laughs> I know you ain't on that game, Teddy. Like, huh? It wasn't no kids. The kids was already in school, but they just wanted me in case kids came late to stay like an extra thirty minutes. And I'm like, the niggas is it? I heard the bell ring, nigga. I'm finna sit down and play Temple Run. Did somebody walk up on you, or you just went to the office? Man? Nah, oh, that, I was. See, I was a, a. They really had ops out there. I was in Beverly Hills, so I guess people would drive by and spot <laughs> uh, if you was really at your corner or not. So whoever drove by that day caught me sitting down. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it was it was whoever the job people was. They were oh, people. that's so funny. <laughs> See, I, yeah, never, I, I would never, I would never care if somebody was sitting down at work. Like, bro, that just would not matter to me. No, it's I can't imagine calling up the, you know. Online, <laughs> don't be sitting down. Oh my god. Well, okay, again. All right. Well, what did you say, Kanisha, how you feel about it? Dream job or a job you hate with all the money? You know what? I'm definitely going to go with dream job because I know some rich, miserable people. So mm. money ain't it. Money can't buy happiness. I believe that. Even before comedy and dream job, being a teacher was a dream job for me. I was the oldest on the block. I used to make the kids play school. And you know, teachers, we don't get no money anyway, but I love those kids. So I would have, if I never got into entertainment, I still would be a teacher making no money, spending my own money, but loving helping these children. So. I'm always gonna go with the dream jobs, and yet teacher was a dream job for me. So, and then obviously entertainment. And the good thing about entertainment is when you're funny and cute, and then you meet you know men at the comedy places, they you know they just kind of take care of you. So, I mean, we get we be getting money. It might not be off stage, but I'm stage. Different kind of stand up. Money, all paid for, all type of stuff. Like, oh my God, you were so funny. You ain't the only ones getting Western unions, boo. <laughs> you ain't the Western only one Union, getting Western boo. Unions, boo. We funny <laughs> too, baby. So, and 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 I like to say that the comedy that I know live off women. They do a lot of the yeah. men live off women. So yeah. you know, I'm gonna go ahead and say yes. People are like, how much money do you make a year? It depends on who I'm dating that year. Shit. <laughs> ah! You said how many niggas did I date that year? It depends on who's. That's what I said, Dave. Like, how much money do you make a year? I said, depends on who I'm dating that year. Hilarious. That is hilarious. Oh my God. These laughs ain't free off or on stage. <laughs> uh, Takara, what, what you going with? Um, I'm going to go with dream job. I would rather work my dream job. <laughs> Then um, a job that I, because I was working at that jail, I started to hate that shit. Man, me too. You know I what it started is? To hate it was that almost shit. impossible not to take that energy home with you. Because it wasn't even the inmates; it was the people I was working with. It was the other teachers. It was the. It you was, was at the housemate that changed to you. <laughs> <laughs> it was impossible to go home and not be there. <laughs> Here, why are you making a spread? We have groceries. Nah, man, you don't never know what you got. Nah, y'all he waste got mad chop ramen. Here, he got mad ramen noodles. Man, he traded his wife soup. He traded soups for the cell phone bill. Like, what? What are you? Why can't you put the money on my books? Oh, my bad. Yo, it was so many. Check up off the phone, bro. It was so many people in that jail, though. The car. Did you ever meet the dude? Um. Did you ever meet the dude who made the spiders out of tissue paper? Yeah, and he would he would he would um, dip the spiders in in coffee to give it to give it the color, and then he would use the thread 
from their um, their out outfits, their whatever they wore. I don't want to say uniforms, but their outfits. He would use the threading for that to make the web and like wrap the legs and all of that. Yeah. Bro, one of the most talented people. Like that's really using what you got to like make a difference. And they the the officers you were never supposed to take take anything from an inmate. Yeah. They would take all of that. They they had him making spiders and all of that shit for him. It was crazy yeah. shit. Let me tell you something, because all the men in my family are in jail. And I always say, these people need to get out of <laughs> it's not funny. and go to the Art Institute. They, the, yeah. if, I pull, if I start pulling out, Look, my, no, no, no. you wouldn't even believe it. I wish I had my box sitting here, jail cards. These cards are 3D. They pop out. They glitter. They say, I'm like, how? Jail has the most talented men I have ever seen in my life, and they need to get out and go straight to the Art Institute. I swear to God, they get they jail talented. Pixar need to go straight to jail and get all their clients from jail. Yeah, the next uh Toy Story nigga can be made by niggas in the pen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sorry, I just pulled out a bunch of jail cards. I gotta show you what the fuck is what I'm talking about. How many Mickey, Mickey Mouses and Minnie Mouses you got? I can. Now, these are all not even the cards. These are all just letters. Ain't this a bitch? Well, my plans have been foiled right before my eyes. <laughs> wow. I just want to let y'all know Teddy snapped at somebody and said, Go, go in the other go room. Go in the other room. Teddy, I saw you went full auntie. I get, get <laughs> out of oh, dude, Shut up. You know I'm over here. I'm, Nigga, it was Brent. <laughs> <laughs> That nigga sent me to the room. You saw a point in there? He said that like, you went. <laughs> listen, because Kadisha's talking about my, my, all my family, all the men in my family in jail. He started laughing. Okay. <laughs> so it's see. a trigger now. I'm laughing. It's, whoa, whoa, whoa somebody more. drew that? This is from jail. Look at this. Look at that. Ain't so. Look at I, this. That was to yeah, hear playing yeah. outside. It is, it, look at this. Look at you guys. These are all We need to prove it to him. <laughs> Look at these. Damn. These are all hand drawn, yo, from jail, yo. They're okay. really. <laughs> this, they got googly eyes on it. Where you get googly eyes in a federal prison? Yo? <laughs> what they use? Cheeto dust? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, feel it. It's incredible. It's got texture. You can't Listen, tell me, Kate, don't need this. These what are you all. don't know is that those cars were. Those cars have been lined with so much cocaine. You are walking around with a federal case <laughs> in your bag. <laughs> I knew I was gonna find them. Like, listen, I'm telling you, they are talented. I just want to put that out there. Shout out. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna go with having a dream job and no money as well. So that's unanimous. Uh, we're gonna move on to this last and final topic right after this. Hey, what's up, guys? It's to hear more and sex. That's right, sex. Who don't like good sex? If you like good sex, you're going to love great sex. And if you want to experience some more great sex, you need to check into Bluetooth. Fellas, listen. Listen to your boy. This, this is your boy talking. This ain't somebody you're not familiar with. Y'all know me. You see me week in and week out. I'm not going to lead you astray. Bluetooth. Bluetooth brings you the first chewable with the same FDA-approved active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis. Do you know what that means? Game changer. That means you can take it anytime, day or night, even on a full stomach. And because it is chewable, it starts working up to twice as fast. Come on, what? What's not to love? I know how awkward this conversation can be. I'm, I'm, I'm very, you know, jovial and, and cavalier, but I know how awkward this can be. Going to the doctor's office, waiting in the waiting room, then going to pick up the prescription. Blue Chew takes all of that out of it, okay? It is made in America and it's prescribed online by licensed physicians, okay? You don't have to do all of that extraness. You can order this from your house and it ships directly to your front door in a discreet package. Why not do it? I don't know what y'all waiting on. Maybe you're waiting on a deal. Okay, I got you. I got you on the hookup. Listen, if you check out Bluetooth, because you guys are my listeners, because y'all rock with the squad, I'm going to make sure you get your first shipment for free. That's right, for free. If you guys go to bluechew.com, that's blue like the color blue, B-L-U-E-C-H-E-W.com, and use our promo code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D-D, -D, you are going to get your first order completely 
for free. That's right, free. All you have to do is pay $5 for shipping and you will get the order for free. Guys, listen, take advantage of this right now. Well, right after this is over, but take advantage of it. Go to bluechew.com, use the promo code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D-D, and get your first order completely for free. Just pay $5 for shipping. You're welcome, people. I'm out here doing the work. Last and final topic of the day. What is more annoying? Having your socks slide down like the inside of your shoe and you can't get to it or being on a long car ride and your lower back being wet? Ooh. Um, I'm going to go with that sock, man, because that happened to me. Because <laughs> it bunched up at the front and then my feet was hurting and I it was just, I had rocks in my shoes. I was hiking. I, 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 I was just about to ask, what were you doing? You got rocks in your shoes. My shoes was tied so tight. It don't matter how tight your shoes are. The rocks get in there when you hike and they don't, don't give a fuck. And, my, my, and no matter how many times I pull my sock up, the shit just kept sliding, but I didn't want to take it off because then it was going to be rock in just foot and nothing, no layer. It was just, I, that, that, that sock shit, man, fuck them socks. Um, I, I, when I got out to finish the hike, I threw, took the socks off and threw them in the trash. Listen, socks <laughs> is not an article of clothing that should not be passed down, but they definitely were passed down. And in my family, or you went over your cousin's house and you didn't pack enough stuff, somebody got to give you a pair of socks. Man, that yeah. sock rolling down, you feel it sliding. That's the, man, I will put a rubber band around the sock to stop it from sliding down before I, I, I deal with that at all. I used to make my own ankle socks. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody did. Pull that down and then fold it under. My mother, my mother was not about to buy me two kinds of socks. Did oh. you lucky you got these Mitch Mac ones you got right now? My mother was not about to buy me two pairs of socks. So I used to make ankle <laughs> socks. And it was bad because the layer in the bottom, it was just it was the, the sock. The sock is a bad thing for me. Yes. We can see you, Teddy, talking to somebody. But the sock was the, the other thing that's bad with a sock is if you put your socks on and you go in the bathroom and step in water, it'd be ruining the whole day. Oh, that man. is literally the worst. You just be like, man, never mind today. I'm finna go lay down. Hey, you know what? Maybe maybe we should change it to that. Maybe we should change it to what's worse, your sock sliding down or your sock actually being wet. Uh sock being wet is way sock worse than wet. All right. Okay, well then there, there we go. We're gonna cut it right here. I'm gonna change it at the bottom. What's worse? Oh. Well, I'm mad, too, because I had a story. Me and my sister drove naked, drying our clothes in the car. <laughs> they ain't gonna change it on us. So what is okay, the well, you at least have to tell that story. Where did you, how did y'all get to that point in your life? Okay, so what happened is my sister was here, and I, we went to Venice Beach, and we started drinking, and we had these little summer dresses on, and we got in the water, and we were wet. But I also had got us tickets for Medieval Times. Now, Medieval Times don't give you your money back, and you got to be there on time. So we had to drive from Venice Beach all the way to, I believe it's Orange County. And we White had a park. Yep. Yeah. And we had, we, so we took the dresses off. We're butt naked and we got the, the, the heater on high and she's just sitting there and it's the middle of the summer and we're both just naked in the car. I'm going, Oh my God, I hope the mo don't nobody look in this car. And the whole way we're drying the dresses. On Hold the on. Stop the that. What kind of car were y'all driving? And, and where the windows tinted? A Prius for y'all. Every, every truck driver saw them titties. <laughs> oh, every truck driver was like, well, would you look at here? Any nigga Why didn't y'all have in a Range Rover Yukon? Underwear or... and bras, though. If, if you wear summer dresses and they tie around, you don't wear bras in summer dresses. They just tie around you your panties, neither? No, well, I haven't worn drawers in years. And my, so, and my sister doesn't. <laughs> Kev, I'm gonna need you to stop looking so confused. <laughs> I just was like, you she took the dress off and was already naked. Like there's other stuff people be having on. <laughs> Kev was like, we missing some components here. That's the other thing. Kanisha was naked, dressed off, fully clothed, dressed off, back to naked. There's <laughs> other articles. Sometimes it be like that. Yeah, no, there's so many dresses you don't wear bras with, and we just a family of people that don't wear draws. I need ventilation. You know what I'm saying? So are y'all a family of people that don't wear draws? Like that's the family thing. You know, we buses over here. We don't wear no draws. We ain't mm -hmm. worn draws in three generations. Listen, maybe all maybe all at the family reunion is like, shut up. Your ass still wear panties. Look at this motherfucker. <laughs> 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 you gotta sit at the table with us. You ain't your panty wearing ass over there with the kids. 
<laughs> is it past a certain age? Y'all tell the girls, all right, now you 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 fourteen. That's it. You you are right. you. Can... It's, it's, a, it's a rite of passage. You just go in your bedroom, grab all the panties, and just throw them in the trash can. <laughs> I haven't. I'm telling you, it's only we have panties for a specific time. Yeah, you know, woman stuff. Other than that, I don't have no. I don't have no. But so you only have those drawers. The big granny in the back of the drawer. You only got the tents. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's you only that's got it. the full coverage, cover twos on. Oh, that's the all state. They call them the all state. <laughs> you need those. You can't just be free. You got the four stuff. bars. Five bars LTE, five G draws. I can hear. Yeah, that's it. That's it. I'm so done with y'all. Uh, that girl said we the family of people who don't wear draws. I ain't never I heard that. I cannot wear pants. As a unit, though, y'all, y'all just free. That's hey, not uncomfortable. Look at the numbers. Do you try? <laughs> Not you, the dress could have dried if you just had the window down and was wearing it. No, no, no. We were soaking wet. <laughs> we were soaking wet. <laughs> on the thing. It wasn't a few splashes. We were in there swimming drunk and was like, oh, we got to hurry up and get the medieval time. <laughs> so, and then trying to put the dresses on in the parking lot, everybody pulling up. <laughs> it was just a mess. Oh. It was a crazy night at medieval times. It was like, hey, the show started in the parking lot. It was a whole family of drawless women out there in 4C. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably why the night threw me the flower, because I kind of, he looked like Trey Songs too. But now I'm like, let me pull the picture up with the Trey Songs night that gave me the flower. <laughs> oh my God. I, I'm y'all think I'm playing. That's what they that, that sock me. being wet, though. <laughs> I don't think yeah. you're playing. Your sock being wet, man. Just forget it, bro. That happened to me yesterday. I got all the way dressed, went back in there to, to grab something out of the bathroom, stepped in a uh stepped on a, a puddle of water. Apparently I didn't clean up, and it was just like, man, never mind today. I just everything I had to do just was never mind. Because then when you take your sock off, your foot's still wet a little bit. Yeah. You got to let it air out. Yeah, man. It's like when your yeah, feet are bad. not, when your socks are not right. Remember in Forrest Gump, they was like, listen, the most important thing out here is your socks. Not the gun, not the enemy. You got to keep your feet dry. That's what they told them in the military. Right? Mm -hmm. I'm good. I'm good. Think I don't know. I'm just, though is, oh, go ahead, Terry. I was gonna say it's it's a tie between that foot being wet and that that because that foot gonna dry eventually. Oh, you I mean that sock gonna dry eventually. Oh, you can change it. But when you got on a bad pair of socks, like you remember old ankle socks when that elastic just oh, it's the worst. All day long, all day long, you out with your cousins, y'all at six flags, all at six flags, and oh. that elastic just give up all day long. You gotta like reach down and like try to wiggle that ankle sock back up. Oh, You'll fuck around and just take the whole sock off and just I'll cut my leg off. I'll cut yeah. my leg off and get to the front of every roller coaster before I deal with that, that that sock all day. Listen, if they were torturing me, they don't even have to punch me. Just they could take my sock off and put it halfway. I'll tell you where everybody's at. I'll I'll snitch so fast. It was to I here. Think, it I was think to here. Worst, <laughs> when you wear the ankle sock that keeps sliding off with slides. Oh, <laughs> oh. And you look down and the sock is at the very front of the slide and it's just space in front of it because uh, you can feel it. You can feel every step when your sock is not on right. You feel yeah. that's all you can think about is your sock not being on right. Your pants fall and you forget about it. There's a lot of stuff that you can you can tune out of your mind. You cannot tune your sock. So your pants be yeah. falling and you don't you don't have a problem with it? <laughs> I, I don't have a problem I have with my socks be falling off. You know, we friends, we don't wear drawers. You know what I'm saying? We ain't want drawers. That's where we from. <laughs> in, eight, in eight decades. <laughs> I just don't know. You, Kenisha, you be wearing jeans? You can't be wearing jeans. Yeah. Jeans? And with no your body? Yeah, you just get a paper towel and you go one, two, three, and then you put it right there to kind of catch the moisture. But I don't wear underwear. I'm done asking you questions, Felicia. I'm out. I'm out. And I just got to show you. The I'm, log I'm logging. I'm leaving out. For that, for that reason, I'm out. I I'm leaving out. Hey, this helpful said one, I'm two, three. Out. I'm going to let you yeah. just be in it's the back. It's just a and catches the moisture. Here's the thing. She can easily get a liner. Wait, wait, wait. Say this again. Wait. <laughs> 
What I miss? I, I heard napkins. I wear jeans, and I told him I just take the paper towel and go one, two, three, and then put it there in my private to catch the moisture. So it's no underwear. I don't wear. <laughs> just wear drawers then. You doing all that? No. You gotta I change your one. oil when you go to the bathroom halfway through the day. <laughs> Oh, you get a new one? They got paper towels in it. That's why I hate the, just the air dryers. I'm like, oh, they're messing up the program. <laughs> now I'm in Starbucks like, yo, can you give me some apple juice? <laughs> <laughs> <It's really laughs> I never heard of any of this. I'm so lost. You live it up. Kanisha is a vagabond. I have to wear panties. Like even if people be like, well, you you don't you don't wear panties with that outfit. I'm like, my thighs are best friends and they touch. They hold hands. They talk to each other. Yeah. I have to wear but the underwear. Don't help with the thighs. That's why I put the deodorant and stuff in my thighs. So the underwear don't change it. I'm learning so much right now. Yeah, I am. The, the, the deodorant. No, to hear, this is just Kanisha. You, this is not most people. I don't imagine this is many people. I don't. I, I do the deodorant thing. I do yes. do the deodorant thing. But the no panty thing, I cannot be out with no, especially if you have a dress on. What if you have a dress on? Yeah, well, because my thighs touch, they keep the, the napkin up there. So it doesn't, it doesn't fall. Now, sometimes, <laughs> it doesn't fall. I can wear a pad with no underwear, uh, technically, because of my thighs, they keep it there. The but fellas are so lost. Teddy left us. Teddy, Teddy, left Teddy us. Dip, bro. <laughs> Teddy, I've never seen somebody dip in the middle of the. the he pulled the Tony door. Baker. He said, "God bless." <laughs> oh. And bounce. But I know. So I will say this because I'm not gonna act like it's a flawless system. Sometimes when I wear, you know, how leggings are kind of tight, and then every now I'll look down and I'm like, "Oh shit!" I'll see the bulge because it slipped down, so now it's in my leg, or so I'm like, "Oh shit!" And so I'm trying to maneuver it back up, and I'm like, "Okay, let me go to start." People look at like, "Oh, she got cancer. She got that tumor on her leg." <laughs> and my dude be mad because sometimes he'll find it. He's like, "Yo, throw these away. You let you fell asleep with it on, and it's in the bed." <laughs> But I did catch the baby playing with one one time and I freaked out. I was like, oh shit, that fell out. Give that to mommy. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and tally this up. Let's go ahead and tally this up. Um, but before you do that, just because I like to have proof, this is after we got to Medieval Times, after we drove naked. This is us at Medieval Times and this was us in the ocean, right? <laughs> right. Oh before. my God. And we drove naked and that's how we <laughs> All right. So what's worse? Jeff that looks so exhausted. He's have still trying to figure out this paper towel thing. Nisha <laughs> is a vagabond. She out here living with no rules that regular people have. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try. I think I'm going to try. One, I'm gonna try. I promise you. Don't do it, it Takara. Kanisha <laughs> already told you it ain't foolproof. The baby done found it. It's, it's craziness over there. Don't oh my God. try this shit. You're going to love it. <laughs> okay, I promise girl. you. You're gonna be like you're this. You're going to love Especially it. When it's hot out, because you know underwear make your butt crack, sweat, and all that. I'm telling you, it's a whole new. I level. think it's the opposite thing when you don't have that. It's just try it. Let me know how it goes. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Okay, so what's worse, having your socks in the winter socks slide down? I'm going to do it in the summertime. Huh? Sock fall down your shoes. Sock fall down your shoes. What's worse, having yeah, your socks fall down? Sock, sock fall down. I'm going to do sock fall down. What's the, what's the question? What's worse, having your sock fall down? Your underwear or fall down or your napkin, your paper towel <laughs> fall down? Napkin fall down because it's embarrassing. I'm walking in routes and that shit fall out. I'm like, oh, you don't get the same question as the rest of us, okay? We got to be heard different. What's worse, bro? What's worse, wearing panties or having the napkin fall down? That's your question, Kadisha. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have the napkin fall. I'll act like I felt, you know, like, oh, my, you can act like the napkin came out of anywhere. They don't know. You pick it up, they can blow your nose and keep it pushing. Like, they don't know where it came from. <laughs> You know about the oh, bears. Kevin's so disgusting. <laughs> I'm gonna go with uh, having your sock you fall down. Blow your nose. It already looked like your nose got blown in there. It does. But listen, you gotta save face. <laughs> oh my goodness. Kamisha, you have a specific set of issues that everybody else does not have to deal with. Uh, I thought he was gonna say I have a specific set of skills. I mean, well, look what she's drinking out of. That's uh, that's 
That tells you everything you need to know. Listen, that's been another episode. It looks like the um, having your sock fall down takes it home. Uh, it's been another episode of Squadcast Versus. Thank you guys so much for watching and for your suggestions. Continue to send that to me, uh, my inbox on IG. Uh, I want to thank our guests for today for pulling up. We had Takara Williams. We got Kanisha Buss and Teddy Ray was here at one point. Uh, and keep watching. We'll see you next week on another episode. All right, you ain't say Kev. You ain't say Kev. Well, he's not a guest, but oh. like he's a regular. But thank you, Kev, for pulling up. Appreciate it in your 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 castle. Yeah. <laughs> all, right. all right. I think we should all try this napkin thing. No, we're not. <laughs> we're not. Doing that.